Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa 2 with me, Phantoms Y. When we last left off, we were actually going to beat Ibuki, and I assume the others, at the music venue. Again, we've been meeting with Ibuki at the music venue a lot lately, in our free time, and now that's the objective as well. Uh, but anyway, to speed things along, I do think we're going to go ahead and just use the map function. Go outside to the third island, travel there, and quick travel. Haha, I'm getting this uh, navigation thing down. Look out. Look out, world. Phantoms of Y has arrived. <laughs> anyway, Titty Typhoon! What's up, Nagito? Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery... <laughs> no matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. And Gundam! <laughs> Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> How idealistic! Now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy. Oh, who cares anymore? Well said there, Ajime. Let's go inside. Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko, why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad that I came? No, it's not. <sighs> Is it okay for you to move around? Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. <sighs> you took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. I'm not overdoing it. <laughs> Fine then. Just let him do whatever he wants. Mm. It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have a pain tolerance down to an art. Can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Mm. But it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. That seems to be the case. And Akane's not here too. Yeah, we, we haven't seen her since this morning, I think? It's been uh, a day since I last recorded, but you think I would remember that. It's been a day or two <laughs> since we saw Akane. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nekomaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Ah! Oh my! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly. The person who appeared was... Just as I thought. That's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate mu musician, after all. I can't imagine what else she'd want to do at a music venue. Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that, just because chances are it would get a uh, copyright strike on YouTube. So I do apologize for that. But you know, if you want to see it, I'm sure you can look it up elsewhere. Um, and otherwise. The video might not even get posted properly, so this is just safer. Wow. 
I'm gonna get cursed! S such an overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my four dark devas of destruction look less lively than usual. I too am starting to feel feel heal chills. With the title like from me to you, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. Okay, so apparently it was like I don't know, like some hardcore metal probably. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> Yahoo! It's awesome! It's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Kyoko? Kyokata. Ah, you came. <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. Demo. But if you're attending Fuyuhiko's recovery party, then that means... You've already... Shigoyo. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he can try to trick us. There's no way that is possible. No, I get why she'd think that of me. Yeah, that's right. That's why we are never going to believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean that we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? That's Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. <laughs> Don't cry! Pigs have no right to cry! You're grossing me out! I see. Yahiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hiyoko. There's no way she would have ever forgiven he uh, Fuyuhiko like this. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. I thought he was talking about Nagito, actually. <laughs> There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this. Right? Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Come on, Ibuki. Hurry up and stop the next... Start the next song. Stop the next song. Immediately. Huh? <laughs> So the exact opposite. <laughs> awesome. Hey, what's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami! Hey, don't interfere! Aw, I was enjoying such a fun party, too. <gasps> I wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. <laughs> but seriously, now is not the time. Now is not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? <laughs> Akane, Akane is... <laughs> Akane is dueling Monokuma. Oh shit. <laughs> what did you say? At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please, do something to save her! Looks like my bad feeling was correct. That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake not to keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life! Or my name isn't Nekomaru Nidai! Now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste! <laughs> of course! Ryuhiko finally returned to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Hey, Monami! Where's Akane and Monokuma? 
Peach will be first arrived on this island. Uh, please hurry. If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. Hold on. Oh, my throat. We should hurry, too. Nikomaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry, too. Hey, everyone. Iburgi. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song, it'd be uh, salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on. You shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry, too. Righto. Let's go. Okay, so the beach where we first arrived at, that's on the first island. So I'm going to pull up the map. And then we are going to go to the first island. There's Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki! What are you doing? We gotta get to the beach! Mata. Calm down. Huh? It's true that we need to hurry. But there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... <sighs> It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Then let's go. Stay calm and irrational. Here we are, the beach. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. どうして俺の攻撃がかすりもしねえんだよ。山。俺は違うってやつだね。世界観が違うってやつだね。妖魔が she really serious about not even grazing it? Kane. It's just fighting a stuffed animal. Morokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it is possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death, and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Like Fuyuhiko did, see? Don't fuck with me! I never want to feel that feeling ever again! I have to feel that way again. I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life! No, you can't! You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself! It's just a little life Pico gave me. It's not precious anyway! You stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Oh. Oh. Gotta stay back. I'll take it from here! Oh man, is Nekomaru gonna take the bullet or whatever? Feels like I'm watching Dragon Ball Z! The world shook. 
and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white, and within that white, I heard a voice. <laughs> どうして俺を助けて。当然じゃろ。選手を一発のバズ Nikomaru died! What? Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator, Akane. What a major failure! I ended up killing Nikomaru, who had nothing to do with this! It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet! Onokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru, like you saved me! Yay, yay! That's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules! Yeah! Then let's just say we're even! In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was the sacrifice! So isn't it okay to say we're even? Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So, rule for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere, and it gradually came closer and closer. Just like with Fuhiko. <laughs> And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. The hell? Why did this happen? He's gonna be alright, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course! He's obviously gonna be saved! <laughs> but Fuyohiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. <laughs> yeah, this is... No more! I can't stand this anymore! No! Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. Cuz! <laughs> no, this... this isn't cuz. This is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. <laughs> Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? If it really did have meaning, 
Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. <laughs> he ended up like that because of his weird feelings for a friendship. Antasa. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it just makes trouble for everyone else. <laughs> so can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. So Kyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. <laughs> don't have to worry about Coach Nekomaru. <laughs> Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. <laughs> Akane, you're not worried about Nekomaru? <laughs> There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Ke Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt, Nekomaru is definitely gonna come back. So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak. It caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Kane. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. You think you won't die? Well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any wor warning, rather, people die. That is... The nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, nightmare continues. Monokuma Theater! Yay! Monokuma Super Super Fables Story 58 A Tengu Came Down From The Mountains a long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. What? Is it really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans! We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. <laughs> Monokuma Super Fables. The end. Applause. As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. All right. So we're out of here. I do want the episode to at least be half an hour, so we are gonna play for a little longer before we end this episode. Oh, there's Fuyuhiko. Go see what he has to say. Ew. No, it's you, Hajime. Huh. <laughs> Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. So good. Come on in. Would that bastard mean my final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pico wanted to protect you. Hey, man. Shut up! Don't say another word! Buddy. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Uihiko. What a dismal mood!
Of course, with this track playing in the background, there's no way you could be cheerful. There's Chiaki. I assume she's playing the arcade game. Morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. I like you, Chiaki. All right, let's go. Hmm? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is someone crying inside? Again? Or is it Hyoko? Judging by the voice we heard, I think it's actually Akane. I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Sure enough. Huh? Um, Akane, you're the one who's crying? I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I'm scared. What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday, she was acting braver. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nikomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nikomaru's dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way this explains a sudden... Uh, a change, rather, this sudden and drastic. Wow. Alright. Crazy man. Talk to me. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? So, Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyahiko. Huh? The real Fuyahiko is already dead. You know, the funny thing is, that thought had actually crossed through my mind that the change in Fuyahiko was so drastic that maybe it wasn't actually Fuyahiko. But I don't really buy into that theory, even though it crossed my mind. That's why it's probably Fuyahiko's clone. Y you. What are you saying? Mm. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but the transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. Nekomaru is dead. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You, are you messing around? <laughs> I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. <laughs> In order to prove it, I'll explain it specially to you. <laughs> Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who's hiding among us is... Byakuya. That's right. Byakuya is alive. I mean, it was... There... Okay. If you've only been watching the Danganronpa 2 episodes, I'm gonna reference Danganronpa 1 here. So, just so you know. Spoilers. In Danganronpa 1, there was a thin Byakuya. In Danganronpa 2, we got a fat Byakuya who died, you know, in the first scenario. So, like, is that Byakuya, was he actually an imposter? But either way, even if he was an imposter, he is dead, right? Like, that, or, unless there's more than one fat Byakuya. I don't exactly know what's going on with that, but it does seem this is in the same universe as Danganronpa 1. So, I don't know. Like, I get that we're probably supposed to think that Nagito is insane with all this, but he could actually be onto something, even if he's not entirely correct. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, 
It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. Th that doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? That idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive. And said he saw her at the movie theater. Why? Why is he telling such a pointless lie? I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. I won't be satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for such a little thing that every little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. What's going on? Good morning! I look forward to working with all of you today. I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyoda. Uh, aren't you acting strange too? Well done. Be careful, Ibuki. Hashime is dangerous. He wants to kill you, Ichi. What are you saying? Hi. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please, do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. I see. So it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane. A Akane. Akane. Nagito. Ibuki. They're all acting strange. What's going on? Yeah, the only one not acting totally crazy is, ironically, Yoko. Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. <laughs> That's not it! <laughs> Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. Oh, so that's why her nose was running and, like, drool was running from her mouth. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? <laughs> what is going on? Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan Sumiki. Anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? Ibuki, just a second. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand into, onto Ibuki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot. What is this? This heat is abnormal. That's right. She has a terribly high fever. Then could the others... Kane, let me feel your forehead, too. I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever, there's no way that that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too! <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. Huh? All three of them have fevers? And it's the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff. <laughs> My goodness, that's obviously bad! Onokuma, for him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Whoa there! Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. And, uh, I know it is in the middle of things, but I don't have too much time here, so I am gonna have to end the episode here. We'll find out what the hell's going on next time, probably. Or at least make some headway. So as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.